Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Did you eat all your cookie dough and enjoy it? Good. Today we're going to make the pie filling for lemon meringue pie. We're going to make the filling and we're going to put it in our pie dough. That recipe is up here for our pie, how to make your pie dough. In that pie dough, we, we baked a custard in it. But this here pie, we're gonna cook the custard on the stove. So we, all we have to do with that pie dough is blind bake it, meaning you bake it without any filling. And you have to perforate it with a fork before you bake it. And you could use pie, pie weights if you want, whatever way you want. Bake it for about 18 minutes at 410 degrees and then take it out and let it cool down before you put this pie filling in it. We're making a lemon meringue pie, but I'm not going to use the meringue because I'm not particularly crazy about meringue. And I remember in Chuck Full of Nuts, I've told you about this years ago, they used to make a lemon pie with cream. And I love it that way. So I'm going to put whipped cream on top of mine, but you can put meringue if you like. Okay, we're going to get started now. All the ingredients are going to be listed like we usually do in the, in the description below the video. And also references to our pie dough and anything else. Now, this here has water. I'm going to put in this two-quart pot. I'm using a two-quart pot for this. And we have, and this we don't need. And we're going to put in one cup of sugar into this. And a little salt is in there already. And uh, let me get my little spoon on there. And we're gonna put this to a boil. And also in this, we're gonna add our lemon juice, fresh lemon juice. And we're gonna get that to a boil. And I'll show you what we're going to do while this is coming up to a boil. Okay, we've got to get this to a boil. We'll cover it up. And now in this bowl, we're going to mix our eggs. There's three yolks and one whole egg in here. And we'll leave the shell out. We don't want the shell. And we're going to have our cornstarch whoops I only put it in here because to show you your quantities never works out too good I like to just measure it and put it in the bowl I'm going to mix this up and I left a little water out just to mix this up better. I'm gonna make this here. And we're gonna get this ready. We don't want lumps in here. Okay, this is all mixed up and we're going to put our rind of one whole lemon in there too. That's what really gives it the flavor. And this is coming to a boil, which is good. Now we're going to tamp, uh, tamper our mixture. Temper. I always get them mixed up. It's because I'm old. A little at a time, you add this to it. But you don't want the eggs to curdle. And now you just pour 
this back into the pot. And you gotta keep stirring right away. This is your lemon pie filling. Until this comes up to, a, just right up to where it starts to boil. Okay, you see now, this is starting to come up to, a, just to a bubble. strain this out if you get a little of the egg white in there but it's fine it's nothing wrong with it they make the meringue with the egg white so we'll leave them in that's kind of good that's what we want I'll get it at least about 194 if she's coming right up Now once this is done, you shut the flame off and we're going to take it and we're going to throw it right into our pie crust, pre-baked pie crust. There you go. It's right in there. Fill it up nice. And if you got leftover, I put it in these cups and you have a nice little dessert on the side. So now we're going to take our pie and we'll cool it down before we throw, throw our whipped cream on it. And we got a couple of little desserts. We'll put some whipped cream in there for the little kitties. And we're all done. Okay, my grandson is going to start making the whipped cream for the pie. And I want to remind you what I do. I don't use powdered sugar. I don't like powdered sugar. I use regular sugar, but when I'm cooling off my bowl, I put the cream in a cup like this and I mix it with regular sugar and it melts up and it's ready to go. Okay, our pie is cooled down and our little cups have cooled down. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to put a little dab into each one of these cups. The cups will be for me and the missus. Because I'm probably going to give the pie to the little guys and their dad likes it. So we'll end up with that. And we're going to put this on top of this. I'll leave a little in a bowl for the guys to whip up, I mean to clean up, they like that. Not too much I'm leaving. And we just give it a little swirl like that. I don't want to get fancy. That's good. And okay, thanks for watching and please subscribe. And remember, this could be made with a meringue on top if you'd like it, but I like it with the whipped cream. And uh, see the description for our videos on uh, how to make the pie crust and how to make the whipped cream. We both have videos on that. Okay, thanks again. Thank you.